Hello everyone, this is your instructor Farwa Batool and welcome to the course of O-Levels Computer Science. So, today we are formally starting the topic of data storage, right? So, in this video, I am going to tell you that different file types like sound, pictures, music, videos, text, numbers, these are the different type of files that are basically stored in different file formats, right? We are going to understand this particular concept that for different type of files, we have different type of file formats, right? In order to store that. Okay, so before uh, moving into this topic, let me tell you that what are file formats first, right? Because if you don't know what is a file format, you cannot understand that how you can have different file formats for different type of files, right? So let me give the definition of, let me share the definition of file format first, right? I'll be back after writing the definition. Okay, so here we go. This is the definition of file format. A file format is a standard way of encoding information for storage in a computer file. Right, let me explain this to you. For example, I have a text file, right? This is my text file. I am having a plain text over here like my name is, is Farva, right? So, it's a plain text file, right? Now, in order to store this particular file in computer or in a computer memory, right? Um, for a computer, we have two kind of memories. Either it's a primary memory or a secondary memory, right? It's a primary storage or a secondary storage where we are going to store our computer files right so let's suppose this particular file is going to be stored this in this secondary storage I will explain you this in my further videos of type of files right so up till now just keep in mind that we have two kind of storage in a computer system primary and secondary storage so let's suppose my this file is going to be stored in this secondary memory right so as we know that computer does not understand anything like my name is Farva, any image, any, um, you know, uh, video, any music. He, he, uh, the machine is not capable of understanding this particular uh, file. Why? Because it is a digital machine. And a digital machine basically understands the language of binary numbers right and what is the language of binary numbers it is basically in the form of zeros and ones right so what is a file format file format is basically how you are going to convert this particular file in a binary format right it is how you are going to encode this encoding this particular file this file can be anything it can be a text file can be an image can be a video can be a musical file it can be any file that needs to be encoded right it needs to be converted in simple words into a binary format or in a binary file right binary format in order to be stored in a computer memory right let's suppose it's a computer memory it has different blocks inside it where the data is going to be stored so for this particular file there must be some format some kind of format so that it can be converted into binary data in the form of zeros and ones let's suppose it is converted as 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 right in this particular format in a binary format in order to be stored in so that it can be stored in a computer memory like it's a computer memory and your particular file is stored is stored in this memory but how it is stored by some encoding mechanism and what is this encoding mechanism or in encoding process this is particularly represented by the file format the file format is going to specify the encoding process 
that is needed in order to convert this particular file to a binary data or to a binary format so that it can be stored in your memory right so this is why we use file formats i hope the definition and the explanation is clear to you now further we are going to see that how uh, what are the file formats we are going to use for a particular type of file like uh, if i have a text file then what are the type of file formats we are going to use for it right in order to encode it into binary or into something that can be stored in your memory right so i am going to uh, share a past paper example with you in that particular example we can see that how the different type of file formats are being used for different type of files right so coming to you with that particular example of past paper okay so here is the past paper example for you this is the question of october november 2017 okay before discussing this question let me give you a concept of file for extension right what is file name extension file name extension is basically something it's a identifier that is used is used as a suffix suffix to the name of of computer file right file name extension is basically an identifier that is used as a suffix to the name of a computer file let's suppose i have a file that is named as um, holiday dot dot txt then what is it this is a for example this is a file that is named as holiday.txt then if i say that what is the file name extension over here so you will say that this particular .txt is representing the file extension right so this is the file extension that .txt and in other words a file extension basically represents the file format right this is a commonly used way of representing file format right we use file extensions in this way in the name of a file right in order to represent uh, its particular format that is being used uh, to format this file right let's suppose this is holiday.txt if this is .txt is a file format for a text file right for example it's a file format for text file then we can say that holiday.txt is a text file right it is basically representing this uh, that due to this particular file format this file format is being used for a text file that's why we can say that holiday.txt is a text file right similarly here in this table we are going to represent the file formats in form of file name extensions right the file name extension it is pictures like if i have a file type like pictures then i have a file format dot jpeg for that right so i think it's a bit confusing uh, let me go with this question first what the question says data files are stored in different file formats okay we have different type of files we have text file image file video file audio file and these files are stored in different file formats we have a different file format for different file right if it's a audio file then we are having different file formats if it's a image file then we are going to have other kind of file formats for that right 
So, complete the table by providing a suitable file format for each file type. Right? The first one has been done for you. So, the first one is what? This is the column of file types. We are having different files over here like we have a picture or image file, we have text file, we have sound, we have video. These are the type of different files that can be stored in your computer, right? And here we are going to uh, specify the file formats for these particular uh, files, right? Let's suppose if I have a picture, then I can say that this picture can be stored in this dot jpeg jpeg file format right it can be stored in this particular format dot jpeg file format right so <clears throat> i am going to cover this jpeg in my other video so that we can be more clear about file formats in a detailed manner but here you just need to memorize some of the file formats that are being used for the different type of files like we have another kind of file format for pictures that is .png. Okay, let me erase this thing for you so that it can be more clear or more easy to understand, right? Now, for picture, I have another file extension that is .png. This extension is representing a different kind of file format. Then I can have .gif, gif. GIF, right? There is this is going to represent another type of uh, picture, right? Another type of picture or another type of file format, right? For pictures. Then <clears throat> for a text file, here the question begins. We need to give file formats these for these particular file types, right? For a text file, okay, the text file can be stored as doc doc right it can be stored as dot pdf right or it can be stored as dot txt right right or dot rft right and another would be dot docx docs right <clears throat> or we can have dot odt right so these are some of the file formats that are used in order to store a text file right or in order to encode this particular text file okay now what we uh what are the file formats we have for the sound file uh, it can be mp3 dot mp3 right it can be dot wave okay one more thing is that we need to write file extensions in um, in what we say lowercase right we always write file extensions in lowercase so I have written it in uppercase that is wrong right I can write it as doc in a small case and similarly pdf dot pdf right so this is how we write file extensions to represent file formats right similarly this is dot png and dot gif you will see it in different uh, files when you will right click and go to the property settings in your computer you can see the file name over there and you can definitely see the extension and you will find out that what is the file format for a particular image or a text file or a sound file you can see in that property section for that particular file right so moving towards sound file we are having dot wave we are having dot aif aif these are some of the file formats for sound file right for example we have dot f flac that is f l a c right we have dot mid so these are some of the formats. This is good for you if you 
uh, memorize these particular formats because they can come into your exam, right? So this is something to memorize. And then we have a video. For video, we are going to have mp4 format, .mp4. Then we have .fl, flv. Sorry, this is flv. Then we have .wmv. You can also search other file formats. Uh, you can Google it. You can search on internet. You will be going to have a number of file formats for particular file types, right? So this is how we have solved this particular question. And remember, in this question, you just need to give only one file format, right? For each of this file type. You just need to have a file format for each file type just one right just one so you can write any of these file formats right it's a three marks question so if you are going to write dot doc just it will be right right similarly one for this sound file and one for this video file right so this is how you can solve this particular question and i hope in this video you are clear about the file formats right the different how we are going to use different file formats for different type of files right so thank you so much for watching it the video uh, has gone really long sorry for that but uh, i hope the concept is clear to you so thank you so much for watching it please share it like it and subscribe the channel that is very important to be up to get updated with my more videos right so thank you so much for watching it stay tuned stay connected um, take care uh, see you in the next video.